It's Lil Ninja Time. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a what if on Izuku if he had a three-way cork. Now, explaining the cork in a way is kind of hard. It's like Todoroki's cork, but he controls different elements. He, con he controls lightning, he can cre create lightning and control lightning. He can create water and any water-based substance. He can create air. He can also control all of those elements. Which is pretty good when you think about it. He could combat Todoroki without one for all. But I don't know if I'm going to make him get one for all. I'll think about it later inside of the video. Now as for when Deku got this cork. It was when he was protecting a corkless child from Bakugo. Now when he saw this happening. A rush came to him. Like lightning and other elements. It was weird for him. He was looking at his hands when suddenly the air around him got pressured and pushed Bakugo back and then his left hand created water and started and he didn't know what was happening. His hand was just gushing out water. He couldn't control it because it would take him some time to do that but it did start gushing out but then it suddenly stopped. This is Bakugo. Izuku. Deku, you have a cork? How? Teacher? Izuku was taken to the cork doctor, and when he got there, he was told that he had three corks, but Izuku only felt two. Well, he only saw two. He could feel that he had another one, but he didn't know what it was. The doctor said he wouldn't be surprised if he had four corks instead of just three. But that's all the information they got right now. They do know the elements that he can control though. It's lightning, water, and air. And then Izuku said, I have water just like you, mom. And Inko said, your water is probably stronger than my water. I can't, I can't even uh, control it. It kind of just gushes out of my hand. Izuku thinks for a moment. He thinks, what if I can control my water? And how can I control air? I don't, I don't, what if I wasn't supposed to have these powers? Izuku thinks for a moment. What if I, what if I can't control my water? It'll be fine. I'll train this power. And I'll become a hero, just like All Might. When Izuku gets home, he decides to go outside and train his powers. After a few weeks, he would be able to control his water and somewhat control air. But he still hasn't figured out how to make lightning come out or control lightning. A few years later, and Izuku is able to control lightning. Him and Bakugo are also great rivals and friends. Because of this, Izuku doesn't feel the need to hold back against Bakugo, which is great for training. In other things, both of them want to get into UA, and Bakugo isn't surprised that Izuku wants to get into UA. So, they do one little training spar before they leave school. Deku, I'm gonna win this! Kachan, you know I am the stronger one. <laughs> That's what you think. An hour later, Izuku is walking home, and this is where he gets attacked by the sludge villain. Izuku is captured, and he is trying to momentarily stop the sludge villain from taking over. Huh, kid, you need to stop struggling. What did you say? I didn't hear you under all my goop. Izuku changes the air temperature around him, almost freezing the sludge villain. He, he, Izuku is holding him off until All Might comes out of the sewers. I am here to stop you, sludge villain. Texas, smash! Izuku gets knocked out just like in canon. 
which is kind of weird since he could have just, you know, floated himself with his air pressure and stuff. But after Izuku wakes up, Izuku starts to fanboy out. I mean, his court made him confident, but he never expected to meet All Might. He starts to fanboy out so much that he forget that he looks at his notebook and stutters. Um, uh, uh, can you can can you sign my notebook? Young, wait, what is your name? Uh, Izuku, Izuku Midoriya. Young Midoriya, I already did that while you were asleep. Dang it, I fell asleep. Ah, well, did you catch the villain? All Might says yes. And he is so relieved. Izuku is so relieved. And he starts to fanboy out again. Um, uh, um, can, can I ask you a question? How did you become a strong hero? A super strong hero, actually. It's because I never gave up, and with my quirk, I can do lots of things. But the most important thing is, you always have to trust yourself never look back and uh, at something and think that you couldn't do it always think that you can do it got it young midoriya uh yeah izuku was calm now and walking off all might flies off too but as izuku is walking he sees a fire he looks at it and bakugo He's there. Izuku says, Kachan? And then he goes to save Kachan, his body moving on his own. But he, then he remembers, if I can freeze the sludge villain, he can stop. Wait a minute, no. That would freeze Kachan as well. I gotta figure out something. I know, my water! And then he starts gushing out his water from his right, I mean, from his left hand. That doesn't work though. Everything that Izuku is trying doesn't work. And then he feels so angry. He has to use his lightning. But he uses it at a low voltage so that it can make little holes inside of the sludge villain. The sludge villain says, Ha! You can't get me with that tiny lightning. I can't believe I struggled to get you. You're so weak. And then that makes Izuku so mad. Kachan! Cover your face. Izuku lifts his right hand. He curves his hand into where it looks like he's gonna throw something or make a curveball. But instead, when he flicks his wrist, a wind pressure so strong, knocking all off all the sludge, gets Bakugo out of the sludge villain. Izuku grabs Bakugo and leaves, and then All Might, so impressed, turns into his buff form. I am here to stop you, villain! Huh, Texas? Smash! The sludge villain is captured, and All Might tells Izuku to meet him at the beach. Izuku arrives earlier than All Might. All Might arrives inside of his weak form. And he's like, Where, where's All Might? Young Midoriya, I am here. Wait, All Might, that's you? I deem you worthy of my power. What do you mean, your power? I mean my cork, Young Midoriya. After All Might explains everything about his cork to Izuku, what? I I can't accept this. What? Some other person needs it. Like, the corpus person. They could do way good th with it than I can. Young Midoriya, you deserve it. After I saw you save your friend back there, I realized I'm old and I need to find a successor fast. And someone that just rushed into a battle without any idea how to defeat him. You saved your friend, and I deem you worthy of having my cork. But I already have three corks. Look, young Midoriya, I trust you. Please, take this 
eat this. Well, actually, eat it later when you decide to. What do you mean? You gotta consume one of some of my DNA so that you can actually have one for all. Remember? Oh yeah. But first, I gotta train your body. Got it, young Midoriya? Okay. Weeks of training with Izuku and All Might. Izuku cleans up a bunch of trash from the beach. Oh my goodness. That was harder than I thought it would be. Well, you did have to not use the, your corks. It was kind of the one thing that I told you not to do. Yeah, that's kind of right. <sighs> that was a lot. Well, young Midoriya, like I said before, he plucks a hair out of his scalp. Eat this. Izuku takes the hair and eats it. Izuku remarks, I don't feel any different. It'll take a day for you to fully eject, for you to fully inherit my cork. But until then, I suggest you keep training. The UA entrance exams are coming up soon, and I think you should win easily. But it's not all about winning, and I hope you figure out what I mean when you get there. Izuku trains with one for all for the rest of the month. And that's basically all he works on, which is actually pretty good because he is able to use 8% inside of this timeline. He goes to UA like cannon and almost falls when Uraka catches him. Uh, sorry, I didn't ask to use my cork on you, but I couldn't just let you fall. Izuku nods and blushes a little. He goes in to do the written entrance exam. He gets the highest score on it too, but he doesn't know that yet. And uh, I guess that's it for now. I'll make another video tomorrow. See ya! It's Lil Ninja time!